Despite the vast sums invested in television punditry, the analysis of goalkeeping remains woefully inept. As supporters, we often hear the same vague statements, such as, he should do better, and he'll be disappointed not to have saved that, with little elaboration. This is the rhetoric of the goalkeeping illiterate. As well as vaguely criticising goalkeepers, offenders tend to simplify their praise. Standard goalkeeping practices can become incredible or superb, with the more athletic saves receiving surplus praise due to their aesthetic appeal. It can sometimes feel like listening to open water swimmers judging a high diving contest. So why is more in-depth analysis of goalkeeping neglected? Perhaps commentators are only afforded the time for the relaying of sufficient information? Perhaps matters of a goalkeeping nature are seen to be too niche to be worth the coverage. The issue with these ideas is that goals, assists and sometimes very accurate passes are described by their technique, their difficulty, their movement and their intelligence. When a goalkeeper makes an error or a save, it's usually so good or so bad that it defies description. Rarely are the reasons explained, leaving supporters with an unsatisfactory breakdown of the event. Gary Neville excels in his analysis because he illuminates the areas that have been bypassed even by many professionals in the game. He isn't just relaying the blatantly obvious, we're learning something new, being guided to observe incidents from different perspectives. The ultimate aim of punditry professionals is to teach supporters about the game and to offer an insight not available to the majority of the public. Competition for ratings has resulted in television companies looking to pundits for extra entertainment value in order to reel in the supporters. And the public response to Sky's Monday Night Football plainly illustrates the desires of supporters to learn more about the sport. With punditry clearly moving in the direction of quality rather than simply quantity, we should expect to hear more in-depth analysis of goalkeeping, or at the very least, for a greater understanding of why they should have done better. This video was adapted from an article originally written for UMAX at Football by David Priest.